Hi, I'm Mark from Trinic. Today we are going to be making our usual samples. We're going to be testing our admixtures and later on these panels will actually be, be uh, tested for sealer. We'll demonstrate that. But we wanted to show you how to do a trout on face coat. These panels are uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick. There's some plastic that I bought at the Home Depot that use two-sided tape to hold them down. And we're going to mix a face coat with a little bit of black in to get a darker color so the sealer will show up better. We're going to trowel the face coat in, into place. It'll be almost a self-consolidating, but if you work it just a little bit with a trowel, you'll see you can get it even. Now this is our fast setting mix, so within, I would say, 15 minutes, we're going to mix up an SCC back coat, and we're going to coat these. And then within two hours, you can actually strip the product. But uh, the first thing you do, with fast set, let's get everything ready. We've got our face coat, we've got our water weight out, we've got our back coat, we've got our water weight out for our back coat, we've got our mixers ready. Because once you start mixing, it's 60 degrees in here, you probably have, a, I'll say 15 minutes working time. If you need longer working time, replace some of the water by weight with ice. In the summertime, you can actually replace almost all the water with ice. Just make sure it's mixed up thoroughly. We're only going to make the face coat a gray color. That'll tell us whether or not the back coat pokes through at all. This is actually kind of an aluminum type color. Pump a little bit in each one. You'll have a uh, blemish-free, toggle-free tile that you could grind if you so choose. The idea behind troweling is that you can get a thinner face coat. If you had to wait for it all to run, it would get a little bit thick. You can squeeze a little bit where you need it. Move it around a hand. Now the thickness with our admix doesn't really matter. The reinforcement is what matters. What I mean by that is I could actually fill this up five eighths of an inch thick with only face coat and we wouldn't have any cracking issues or problems from the face coat, no drying shrinkage cracks. What we might have is cracks because it's not reinforced. So, you've got large, the face coat and large format tiles done quite easily. The advantage of this method, uh, as I said, your fiber will not show. Sometimes your fiber will show on a darker piece where it won't show on a lighter piece. And that's it. We are done. Now, if you rub your fingers, you can remove some material, almost like floating. You could float up a little bit of material. That tells me I'm going to have good adhesion. Now, if I were rubbing and rubbing and I wasn't getting anything up, I would probably paint on a bonding agent quick. Acryl 60, 50-50 with water. Paint it on there, work it up a little bit, put your back coat on, you'll be fine. In fact, the uh, safe thing to do is to wait longer rather than too short. If I were to wait too short, put a back coat on and I move this face coat slightly, you'll get almost striations and different colors in the face coat. But if you wait long enough and don't disturb the face coat, which this is a self-consolidating back coat, so it'll be all right, you won't disturb the color. We'll see, you'll have a nice uniform color. We're not in a hurry, but we'll mix up the back coat, dump it in, and uh, throw it on there. This is a 2% fiber loading. 
you can see it's a beautiful SCC consistency. We found 2% to be adequate for a tile, even larger format tiles. You can use more if you want to, 3%, 4% even. This will be ready to strip in about maybe two to two hours at 60, two to three hours. At 90, it may be ready as quick as a half hour. Being careful not to scrape the face coat. But this obviously will bond just fine. Won't be any bonding issues with it. We used the uh, uncolored because I'm going to see if the face coat pokes through anywhere. Too much, huh? We wanted to give you an example of what you can make using uh, Trinix admixtures, the way we just poured that. This is, uh, I believe, 8 foot by 3 foot. It's 5 eighths thick. It's uh, extremely good 5 eighths. This could be a shower wall, a tile, whatever you want it to be. I would even make countertops if you thicken the edge. 5 eighths thick. This is only 2% fiber though, too. And this obviously we tested sealer down the time. <laughs> As you can see, it's probably overkill for a tile. And for a shower wall, you can't make it, it won't flex. This is 28 days old, so it's probably about Oh, probably close to 12,000 PSI. There you go. Large format tile. We'll clean these up, let them sit a bit, and we will uh, demonstrate sealing on them. It's the next day after we cast. We covered these with plastic at night, threw some insulating stuff on them. They're probably about six to 7,000 PSI based on our mix design and our test results. What we're doing is we're hitting them very lightly with 400 grit just to take the cream layer off and show a little bit of the uh, sand. So our sand is a pure quartz sand, but it stays white. As you can see, we managed to uh, create an absolutely beautiful pile. It's unblemished. There's no, uh, absolutely no bug holes whatsoever, not even the thought of a bug hole. So these could be processed, and later we are going to uh, show you how to seal these in our next video. That's it for this one. And we've got a large format floor tile almost ready to install.